dressed out. Do you usually fly so dressed up? Always. How did you feel just as you were coming down? Well, very disappointed. That's a beautiful airplane and one that's just been rebuilt. And it's always sad to scratch an airplane. How about scratching you? Were you concerned for yourself? No, no concern there at all. Uh, I see a little bit of sweat on your brow, though. Is this the closest call you've had in a long time, or what? No, not really. But the problem here is it's, uh, it's very hot. It's like in, being in a greenhouse with a canopy over the top of it. What are you trying to do to get that wheel down, Bob? Well, I used all the emergency procedures. Uh, I was bouncing on the runway, attempting to shake it loose. The down lock was frozen in the up position, and my emergency lanyard would not release it. No way you can crank it down. Okay? No way at all, and uh, I did have hydraulic pressure. The uh, gear handle was frozen in the down position. What were you thinking about making that last approach? Well, only about as little damage as possible to my great little airplane. You mentioned that several times. Did you really never think about the damage that might happen to you? Well, I've been a test pilot all my life, and uh, you don't dwell on those jobs. How bad is the plane damage now? Not really very bad at all. I'm just delighted at what I see. I had plenty of time to consider all the possibilities. I closed the suit, so it saved all of that bottom part of the airplane, which could have been destroyed. Uh, it looks like very minor damage. Uh, I'm not sure I'll be able to get it ready for the remainder of this show, but we're going to try. First, an eight-point roll. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Straight and level again. Let's see how this intricate maneuver looks from the pilot's viewpoint, looking out through the windshield at the horizon. Notice the very pronounced control movements of the pilot's hands for each position of the eight-point roll. Again, let's watch it from the tail camera. Bob's description of the technique involved in these eight-point rolls is to picture for a moment a pie placed on its head, and then, starting from the center, cut it into eight equal slices. Here's something that's different. Bob demonstrates the ease of handling the Shrike by means of a glass of iced tea. He sets it in place and then performs a barrel roll without even tilting the liquid in the glass, let alone spilling it. Then Bob decides that if you can do that, why not pour a glass of tea during a roll? And he does. All this to demonstrate how smoothly the Shrike Commander handles. For his finale, Bob again shuts down both engines before performing a series of maneuvers all combined into one. A loop at ground level, then a roll, and a turn and land, all with the engines shut down. The interesting view you are now observing was taken from a camera mounted on the tail skid and presents an unusual but distorted view of the aft fuselage. However, if you look closely, you can observe that the engines are shut down and the propellers are in the feathered position. Now as the Shrike has recovered from the loop, it is rolled 360 degrees to the left. Now you can see the landing gear extending in this final turn toward the landing with no engines.